from huts of mud and grasses to monuments of stone and steel. The rise of modern civilization has been paced by our development of new materials. We began with earth, wood, and rocks. We built shelters and tools. We harnessed fire and learned to coax metal from stone. And then, one day, a brickmaker added straw to his clay. The result was a stronger brick and the birth of man-made composites. So what is a composite, really? Simply, it's two different materials combined. A uniform substance like Portland cement is called a monolithic material. Throw in a handful of gravel, another monolithic material, and you have concrete, a composite. In a composite, you can still see the individual monolithic materials, the cement and the gravel. They're just locked together. So why make composites? We combine dissimilar materials to create a new material that has the characteristics we need for a particular application. Portland cement is pretty tough, but you wouldn't build a bridge out of it. It's not strong enough or durable enough. Throw in some gravel, and now it's durable enough for traffic, but still not strong enough to span supports. Drop in a nice grid of steel rebar, and now you've got a composite material that's strong enough for bridge decking. In addition to increased strength and durability, composites also allow us to customize materials with the weight, flexibility, conductivity, and stability we need. Although composites can have several different components, they all have two things in common, a matrix and reinforcement. In our concrete bridge, the cement is the matrix and the gravel and rebar are both reinforcements. Many modern composites use resins as a matrix. Add wood or wood fibers and you have a broad family of products, from plywood and particle board to high-density fiber board and composite decking panels. Adding glass fiber or fabric as reinforcement creates fiberglass, widely used in everything from auto body parts and boat hulls to tennis rackets and swimming pool liners. Many of the most recent advances in composites have been in the field of aerospace where highly specialized fibers such as graphite, boron, and Kevlar are used to create incredibly strong yet amazingly lightweight materials. Composites, they're everywhere. Building materials, furniture, toys, sports equipment, the games we play, the roads we walk, the cars we drive, the planes we fly, composites. They make so much of what we do every day possible.